Okay. You know what? I'm uh, okay. I'm up for that. I Holy sure. Shit, I just wanna. I just wanna watch people kill some me. Kill each other some more. That's unthinkable, but I just wanna watch people kill each other. Uh, but yeah, uh, the the uh, you remember the little kid, the nephew of Commodus in uh in uh Gladiator. Um. Lucius, uh, the, guy, the kid who was saved by Maxius, uh, Maximus, that's who it's following. It's following uh, Lucius now. Oh, that's cool. Which, if it's post Commodus, then I believe that goes into Caligula. Oh, oh no. no! Which is I bad. Was standing on that. I was standing oh, that's gonna be that fucked up in the best way. Which is bad. No! Caligula literally <laughs> took Roman with do whatever the fuck I want with it. I don't I give a shit! <laughs> if hedonism bot oh, was a man. Uh, oh damn um, it! Man, I, I love that. Why does the floor keep going away when like, I'm Like, why do you guys keep magnetizing towards me? Holy <laughs> shit. That's why you guys are competitive! Oh shit, oh shit! I love that his fucking nickname, oh, no. Caligula, literally just meant little boot. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Oh, he is not oh, little you saw the Caligula film, right, with that, like, fucking M device M McDowell. he built? <laughs> no, <laughs> the fucking device that beheaded people in the film that he made. Yep! Mm -hmm. oh, 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 Caligula was a piece of shit! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. guys. Here's Hard a little, shit. um... Here's a little <laughs> tidbit about the Caligula movie. So I ended up reading that they're not they're going to be doing a recut of that because they want to base it off the original <laughs> oh, <damn it>. script. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> actual the actual attempted script that was just a historical piece and not no! history with porn. <laughs> but the I... person no! that they oh, damn it. the person um, that they decided that was not to no, suck my no, dick. Oh, go ahead. Thing. Yeah. The person they decided to get to basically put the move, put that adaptation, th that uh, recut together, is the guy that did that infamous horror short, Begotten. You know, the one that starts off with like looks like a man killing himself in the beginning. Yeah, they got him for that. That sounds like a good person for that role. <laughs> I mean, I'll see y'all later. All right, All right later. Bye. Later. Bye. 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 I mean, on one hand, I heard that he's, that his short films are actually pretty good, interesting, but at the same time. If you're, why get the guy who did that horror short to recut Caligula of all movies? I mean, okay. I don't know, it seems uniquely qualified for the job. Nope, nope, no! no. Oh, damn it. I've never watched Caligula. Oh no, okay, so okay. I, okay, so the next Roman Emperor after Commodus was uh, Pertinax, and he was the one that was murdered by his own bodyguards. Ah, oh, so like Caligula. Yeah, okay. he was murdered, mm. but it wasn't the it wasn't they hated him so much. It was literally the Praetorian Guard going, "Listen, <laughs> why don't we just be emperor?" I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna post this gif for a few like a minute and then <laughs> let me see. Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, <laughs> that oh, was man. this. That was a weird thing. I, yeah, I remember uh, seeing that moment and going, "Oh yeah, that was totally something in history." Yeah. <laughs> right, I love history. It's so great. The yeah, movie, yeah. the movie is like, uh, is a treat. There's so much to have. Peter O'Toole with constant fucking like vomit face. Uh, Malcolm McDowell. <laughs> you got like the, one of the largest sets ever built <laughs> at the time. You got yeah. actual prostitutes behind the scenes. You Cause got it, dicks. Cause, cause so literally, many dicks. Cal because Caligula was literally funded by a uh. porn company. Fuck you. It's Wasn't what? It, who was it that wrote it? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Gore Vidal. It it Gore, Gore Vidal. Vidal. That makes yeah. it all the better. Because, like, <laughs> Gore Vidal wanted <laughs> <it to laughs> be, like, Gore Vidal wanted it to be a historical... Like, he wanted it to be an epic historical piece. Ow. But <laughs> yeah, Vidal was right. funding for it, and so Penthouse went up to him and said, Hey, oh. we'll do it for you. However, we want to include some very, very raunchy scenes. And he's like... All right, I'll try to see if we can work on it, which resulted oh, with the movie becoming less and less of a historical piece and more of a history and porn. Yeah. I mean, hey, man, listen, Caligula was a was a Roman emperor. He was a pretty good guy. He was also uh, <laughs> in regards to the me mentioning begotten. I'm just gonna post this image very quickly and then delete it. This <laughs> is the infamous moment. Ooh. What the yeah. fuck? 
Yeah, that's uh, from the short. Th that's the guy they literally said, "Hey, we want you to edit um, the Begotten movie and try the um, Caligula movie and make it into the historical movie that it is." There's another yeah. Resident Evil movie coming out next month. Oh my <laughs> god! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, oh yeah, no, I think that's the CGI one, uh, Resident Evil Island. Okay. Oh, good. I was about oh, to yeah. lose my fucking marbles, like, dude. Like, I'm oh, already I'm Matthew Mercer. Yeah, I'm already Sorry. fucking yeah. pissed off about like anything live action related with Resident Evil. Uh, Golden, I was gonna get that. Okay, so it yeah. says right here, it's a yeah. um, <laughs> an animated. It's um, a CGI animated movie. Yes, which those ones are actually canon to the like the story of the video <laughs> games, which means that this is the first time that oh, Jill God. has been a central character since Resident Evil Three. Yeah. Um it's also B it's also directed by a Japanese director named Iricho Hasumi. Okay. This movie's going to be, be good. That was gonna be my question. It, was Paul W. S. Anderson gonna be behind no, it? And Paul, it's so panicked. No. Paul W. S. Anderson has no has no involvement with this. This entire movie right. is all the way from Japan. Yes. Um, just like the other just like the other ones, which had some of the greatest moments in Resident Evil ever, like Chris Redfield and fucking Leon S. Kennedy, John wicking through a hallway of zombies. Yeah, apparently ah, these are from... Sick. Yeah, apparently these are the animated movies from, <laughs> again, from Japan, and they seem to be following the same story of Resident Evil <laughs> Degeneration, <laughs> Damnation, <laughs> Vendetta, and of course, Death Island. Yep. Because they follow the same plot as the games, which, <laughs> hey, who, okay, who here played the original Resident Evil? Um, yeah. I never got a chance to play it, but I just um, know about it. I played it. little bits. You know about I it? Go ahead. Played seven you, I can't get up there. <laughs> you know about Rebecca, the medic? Uh, mm -hmm. You know how she never showed up in Ari another Zero? game? Yeah. <laughs> <from Ari Zero? laughs> yeah, the one from RE0, Ari yeah. You know how she never showed up in another um, game post, I like, RE0, RE1? <laughs> yeah. Sure. She's in one of the animated movies. She's a central key character there, and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, Rebecca, one of the one of the members of Stars." Like she never just fucking disappeared. That's cool. Perfect. I think the game is broken, Golden. I fucking love the Jason movies. They're stupid and dumb. We've been playing this game for a couple of hours now. Like, because like when when I'm when I like fall off the edge, I'm still alive somehow. Oh damn it! Like you know what my. <laughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. I don't know why, but every time I go to the bottom of the map, it, like, I... says I'm still alive and I can't get back up, and then, yeah, it's, like, it's broken. Oh, why you have that gun? Why do you have it? <laughs> you know what? Okay, you know what my favorite thing about the about Resident Evil is? What? what? They've made stage plays and musicals for it, right? Oh, yeah. I love everything Probably I'm Probably still better than anything Paul W. Sanderson did. I mean, oh, they are because they're canon to the video game story. Something that Paul is should amazing. have done. Sorry, I am I am going off <laughs> a tirade. Oh, I am so it whenever it's mentioned. I, I'm oh, no, sorry. But I understand. No, because like, okay, that... so I wanted to experience the game story because my brother told me so much about it. I've seen the gameplay and I'm what? like, this would work well as a movie because it felt so cinematic, and I had none of that when the movie was DVD. out. I felt so ripped off. Yeah. I can definitely understand yeah. the frustration. It, it, uh... Yeah, it, it just needed a better director than fucking Paul W.S. Anderson. Yeah, you know, do you know who they, I... Hold on, do you know who they were originally gonna have? Oh, sure, make me sad. George A. Romero! Oh, oh no! That would have been promising, because, again, the cave yes. of zombies would have, would have been would have, would, would have been promising would have been promising motherfucker George A. Romero made the live action trailer for Resident Evil 2 in America and it is one of the most highly praised video game trailers of all time correction uh... it would have been gr it would have been it amazing. would have been perfect um and yet Capcom fired him <laughs> I have um, no idea Cap why. 
Um, <laughs> probably, be, probably because he's like, your writers don't know what the fuck they're doing. And the only movie I tolerate from Paul Wes Anderson is um, Event Horizon, and that's mainly because I like the backstory behind. Um, you know, I like the story. I don't know how Shuka's still alive. The game is so damn bad. You know, Event Horizon. I mean, he's letting me win, and I don't know why. Event Horizon's fucking crazy, but I love it. I, I know, love the know, man. I love the prequel the to way. Warhammer 40k. <laughs> <laughs> the game is so broken. The only asshole. movie, the only movie I could say that is good from Paul W. S. Anderson is Mortal Kombat. Mortal that's Kombat. That's true. That's fair. I mean, that's definitely the case. You know what's sad about I... this whole Resident Evil thing? What? James Cameron liked it. Uh, James Cameron. James. James. Why? James. He said he liked what if James Cameron directed it? <laughs> no, he didn't direct it. He said he liked what the movie. Oh, no, no, what if he had? Oh, he did? Oh. It would have been no, a hell of a like lot her. better than whatever the fuck Paul was pulling out of his because ass. It, because even a, even a very average James Cameron movie could be entertaining. That's one of the reasons so many people like Avatar so much. Because even yeah. though you have a bunch of it people... Because even though you have people who will tell you that Avatar is a bad movie or that the plot is terrible, they, you could still find a huge group of people who'd be like, it's still very entertaining. Yeah, that's like, when I went to go see the movie, I was just like, eh, I'm just expecting to have blue people fight a bunch of humans and that's what I got. Yeah, yeah that's literally what's up. And I, also, and I know that, the, I know that real quick, and, with wolves, with Smurfs. Real quick, did the second movie happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and notice how no one mentioned it. Well, it's actually, it got, it got a, it, well, 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 actually, logic. I don't think you're. I've heard nothing. But... I have heard nothing. Okay, so it. yeah, okay. This is mainly due to the fact that uh, a certain uh, a certain DreamWorks animated movie took the took the world by storm and deserved oh, yeah. it. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It basically came out around the time that <laughs> that Puss in Boots two dropped. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but it still bad. made. But Avatar still made but, but tons of cash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I know like, for... James Cameron has two of or three of the top four like highest grossing movies ever. The yeah, thing that's so hilarious yeah. about when it was announced on the next like Avatar movies and everything. So like the third one's coming out in like twenty like twenty five. The last one is set to be released in twenty thirty one. And Zoe's, uh, like, Zoe Leader's like, great, I'm gonna, like, nearly be retired after this movie is done, or something like that. <laughs> do you know what my, do you know what my favorite thing about, like, because I went to see the first Avatar you with my brother him. and my mom, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. We went to see the second one together, and I was sitting there, and I'm like, you know, we had the air Navi, the people who ride the birds and shit. We have the these birds. water Navi. I guarantee you that in the next movie, we're going to have fire Navi, and they're going to be the bad guys. Yeah, and my mom looked at me, and she said, you're crazy. And then two weeks later, a news article came out that, yes, there are going to be a, a like, grouping of Navi in the third Avatar movie that are centered around fire oh, and are hostile. Oh god, oh are god, you again. Telling me no, that, no. Are, you, are you telling me that everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked? That, exactly. <laughs> this is this is how I feel. Like, my mom, I found out about it because my mom called me and she's like, you just can't enjoy shit anymore, can you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, no, I can't because, like, I'll do the same thing. We'll be watching like, oh, an no! anime together and, like, halfway through it, I'll be like, that guy's the bad guy. That guy's the bad guy, but he's working for him. He's the real bad guy. And she'll be like, no, you're fucking crazy. And then I'm right. And she's just like, god damn it. Fucking <laughs> stop. Oh, her favorite anime is dead. <laughs> uh, Actually, hey, Vlad, since you, seem, since you seem to be so good at this, do you have any predictions about Ruby Volume 10? <laughs> do I have it? Okay, uh, these are my, my off-the-cuff uh, predictions about Ruby Volume 10. Um... Leader of the of the Vacuo school, gonna be a fiery a fiery desert woman, kind of like the Gerudo from uh, Legend of Zelda. Um, we're going to get we're gonna get Sun's team back, but only for like three episodes because one or two of them is gonna die. It's probably gonna be uh it's probably gonna be Pan Peter Pan and the other guy. Neptune's still gonna be around because he's a heartthrob, and that's the only reason he's still alive or even relative relevant to the story. Oh. They're gonna recast Glinda with someone who sounds similar enough 
but they're not going to give her a major, like, stain roll because Ozpin isn't there anymore and she's completely invalidated. And Salem's going to have some bullshit plan that's going to completely wrap itself up and go in her favor because that's the only thing that the fucking writers know how to do. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so, Vlad, I do have to... Brett is like, I do have to ruin the first part for you. We already know who the leader of Vacuo is. It's... Oh, God damn it! It's this guy called Theodore, who is a play on Dorothy. Oh, God damn it. Oh god, yeah, no. whatever. There's a book about him. All Fuck! we know about him is he's kind of a meathead that values strength more than anything else. That in makes fact, sense. In the book, he literally rearranges a bunch of teams to try and put the strongest together, but then it doesn't work out because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> and, like, all I know for sure is how is this guy going to turn evil? God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's a, great, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be it. That's well, that, 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 that tracks. I was going right for that pistol, and then I was like, oh, so okay, else Vlad, at some point, you should talk Ruby stuff with me and continue him. I'm, I would be happy to. Be Black boy, thank you for subbing. Because like, I told the team about you, and he's just like, you and I need to talk to this man so that we can have a third guy to bounce ideas off of, because I'm painfully slow. I love that's the so I hard. love the mentality that, he, that I'm reading about him now. I love that he calls Salem the big one. That's a again. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, reminder, we're only, like, uh, a few days away from the summer sale. You That's know true. All, you know where we're also a few days away from? What? what? Terry Gilman, Teenage Kraken. That, that looks good. Oh, I thought that came out already. No, it's, uh, it June 30th. June 30th, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, does, uh, so does that Indiana Jones movie, and I think there was like... Damn it. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard about a uh, bombing at the box office, that's why I asked. No, I mean, I'm like, no, I've been hearing Elemental's been bombing at the box office. Yeah, oh, which is too bad. bad. I, I saw it yesterday, and it's not that bad, honestly. Like, I love the mm. Elemental effects, like all the physics and stuff. Okay, and yeah, I meant Ruby them. Gilman, not Terry Gilman. That moment, okay. you, that moment when you realize Elemental is just a tech demo for awesome Elemental visual effects. I mean, oh, sure. I, I like. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. It's probably a good movie. Like, I'm kidding. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Finding Nemo is probably the same thing for water physics. Listen, I just <laughs> listen. I listen. I gotta say this because, like, only only real wait, world wait, wait. thing I will Everybody bring stop. up. What? Everybody stop, please. Everybody stop, please. Someone, there we go. Now leave the cell. There we go. Now kill me. <laughs> I just wanted to see someone use the fucking how? laser sword. How? I slashed you! Uh, what the fuck? You just wanted to see the laser sword in action. Yeah, I just, like, we failed to get it twice, and I'm just like, Golden, please just get the fucking sword and kill me with it, because I want to see the sword do something. <laughs> I want to so, see the pretty heights. Okay, I'm gonna post an image in, uh... I'm gonna post in. I'm gonna post an image in, uh, in, in ah! gaming chat, and I'm gonna read a little expert excerpt from Twitter. Okay, I gotta see this. Alright. I'm trying to get up there. No! Let me get A up. PMC leader has declared himself that he is now in possession of something called Metal Gear and is announcing he plans to create Outer Heaven, a place where soldiers like himself will be honored. Declares himself to have surpassed Boss, and he's now Big Boss! It looks like a guy from Breaking Bad. That's the guy who oh, runs shit. the Wagner Group in Russia. Oh no! yeah, the fucking uh, coup! Like, isn't there like a coup de gras happening? He's turned coup against Russia. I'm sorry, oh, Kranger, who? like a coup. I'm sorry, de oh, he's he's oh. actually running the fucking coup. Oh no, he's no, running. No, no, he's no, no. trying. Yeah, the 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 guy who ran Putin's private army has turned How against him it? and is now invading Russia. How is it? it? How the fuck um, is? Hold on. How the fuck is? It. How is it that? Logic is still like jamming himself within the crevice there. Like, what the hell? That is. <laughs> what can I say? I see tight spaces and I think I'm challenge. To... God damn it, Logic. <laughs> I'm here to run the fake. Oh. <laughs> can we just file? Can we just bluntly say how fucked Putin is at this point <laughs> if this is the case? Because think about it. This fucking moron invaded <laughs> Ukraine and is trying and now to. Now everybody Logic. fucking hates him. And not only does everyone hate him, his own private army is attempting to take his own, over his own goddamn country! His own, like, his own military literally just went, I, ah, heaven, let's go. Oh, it's the, you haven't even heard the best part. On, on the Wagner group crossing the border into Russia, the border guards were hugging his fighters. Okay, <laughs> guys, I just realized. What? Up, screw Oppenheimer and Barbie. 
there's one movie that surpasses Can do. Both. Oh god, what is it? The Venture Bros movie. Oh, of <laughs> course. I'm instantly on board. Of course. <laughs> I forgot that Ri I forgot that Riley's like the biggest fan. Of Actually, no, 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 no. You want to know something yeah. now? I've been watching Venture Bros since the pilot aired in Adult Swim back in 2002. Actually, wait. I mean, I might start shooting first and also die first. Also, Riley, Riley, Riley. Yeah. Screw those three movies because you want to know what's coming out. What? Metalocalypse Army of the Doomstar. We are finally getting the the Death Clock movie. <laughs> I'm not really a metal guy, so I'm. Oh yeah. Yeah. You have, yeah. You you know, I'm know, for you. Do you know how lo how happy I was to finally hear that Adult Swim <laughs> finally got up their ass hey, and Jeff. said, "Hey, look, we we don't want to continue Metalocalypse. We're gonna cancel it." That's made by Jason Small, who also made home movies. Brendan Smalls, but yes. Brendan hey, Small, Brendan Small, sorry. Hey, yeah. I'm so yeah. happy. Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus. You know what I'm going to say next, don't you? I know what you're going to say, but I'm going to tell you happy right yourself. now. Shut the fuck up. It's like, <laughs> no, I'm happy for you. I'm happy you're passionate about this, but please tempt yourself because... Like, before I was kind of just being jerk arsey for the sake of effect, but now I'm genuinely just like, this clearly means a lot to you. So, and I want you to enjoy it. But don't go in, it's like, don't go in expecting the universe and get sad when they hand you Earth. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to be hopefully disappointed, but I will keep my, my expectations grounded. Because if there's one thing I know about Metalocalypse, it's usually when they have their characters finally, you know, Developing, <laughs> we tend to still put them down to a T before eventually oh, having them okay. go back again. The yeah. bosses fell completely opposite to the way I wanted them to. Also, so, when I mean they're making the movie, I don't mean they're just making the movie, they're actually releasing the final album too.